This story uh, comes from Luke chapter 7. It follows Jesus healing uh, uh, the centurion servant. And it says, Soon afterwards, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. And as they approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And the large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her and said, Don't cry. Then he went up and touched the bear. They were carrying him on, and the bearer stood still, and he said, Young man, I say to you, get up. And the dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. And they were filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us. They said, God has come to help his people. And the news about Jesus spread throughout the Judea and the surrounding country. Now in those days, there wasn't any social security system, there wasn't any means of providing for people who were destitute and in those days women couldn't go out and earn a living of themselves they had to either have a husband or a son uh, to take care of them provide for them now this woman was a widow which admits that she no longer had a husband and her son had died so there was nobody to provide for her so Jesus showed compassion for her in rising, raising her son from the dead. And something that is significant is that Nain is just a few miles from a place called Zarephath, which if you know anything about the Old Testament, you'll know that, there, that Elijah was staying with a woman, a widow, and her son in Zarephath. And her son also died, and Elijah rose, raised him from the dead. So actually, Jesus was doing something that had happened nearby this town many centuries earlier. And so they were able to recognise from that that he was a prophet and that he had come to provide help to them. So it's quite important to know the stuff that's in Scripture so that we can see God carrying out his plans for us now. That's my thought for today.